Hey everybody, I am Danny Otto. Welcome into another episode of That Recap Show. Now, before we get into the show, just want to issue a quick spoiler alert. We are going to be talking about everything that happened in What If Episode 3. So if you haven't checked that out yet, you may want to pause this video, go check that out, and come back and enjoy the show with us. Now, with that out of the way, let's start the show. Poppin' Off presents That Recap Show. Joining with me for all of the breakdown of What If Episode 3, it's the one, the only, it's Johnny Rico! Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up, Danny? Hey! What's up? We have so much to get into with this episode. I, I feel like I always say that, but this episode, I mean, we didn't just mirror, like, something else. This one is actually kind of right. its own plot line and everything, so there is a ton we could unpack from this. Um, but why don't we start off with initial reactions to this, and... I mean, spoiler alert, we kind of already said it at the, the, the before the episode actually started, but in this episode, everybody dies. <laughs> Dude, wild. <laughs> straight up, like, you you came in talking to me before we hit record, and you were just like, everybody got straight up murked in this. Like, it was just yeah. Avenger after Avenger after Avenger dies, like, right away before they're even, like, on a team together type of thing. Insane. Yeah, man, it was it was wild. It, I I didn't understand what was going on, and then but the payoff was was pretty excellent. I gotta say, yeah, the the payoff is big. So I mean, that's one of our our, our big takeaways. Do you want to get into that? To kick this off, our first big takeaway is plain and simple. Nick Fury is having one hell of a week, and we kind of I, I really like the way that they laid out this episode because we already kind of knew that all of these. Uh, events were taking place very close to each other, but we've never really had it laid out and shown kind of how close these events were happening to each other. So I, I really liked being able to see that and, and just kind of, you know, we already knew this, but it was just nice to kind of see that kind of edit. But plain and simple, Fury's having some shit going on. So Rico, what was your first big takeaway from this episode? Okay, so my takeaway from this episode is not really a big takeaway, but it's kind of a minor one, but a really interesting detail that I thought was really cool they added to this episode. Uh, we got to see the return of Betty Ross to the MCU, and uh, we haven't really seen her since The Incredible Hulk back in 2008 with Edward Norton. And we got to see her interact with uh, Bruce Banner, played by Mark Ruffalo, for the first time ever, which I thought was really cool, seeing like those two kind of like Hulk worlds finally kind of blend together even more outside of just General Ross. Um, so I'm kind of holding out hope that we can actually see Liv Tyler back in live action in the future to kind of li- uh, act with Hulk in live action. So uh, that's my big takeaway from this episode. What about you, Danny? Very cool. No, I, I don't. I don't think that's small by any means. I think that was really cool. I, I definitely agree with you. I liked seeing that that kind of just a different uh, dynamic. I guess with mm-hmm. having uh, uh, Ruffalo in instead of Edward Norton. So no, it was really cool. <laughs> so last big takeaway. I got I to gotta keep going with the reveals. Boom! Big reveal. It was Killer Hank all along. That's mm. right. It was Hank Pym picking off all of the Avengers before the Avengers could uh, form the team, basically. Before Fury could get everybody together and, and have mm-hmm. the the army of Avengers, I guess. And, and I mean, we really got to see this 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 spiraled version of of hank pym after i guess the the tragic loss of of hope i guess it in in this Mm -hmm. version of of series of events hope becomes a shield agent and she is uh killed in action basically and that drives hank uh to the to the brink of wanting revenge and so he gets the yellow jacket costume uh for Mm -hmm. himself and 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 all that tech he uses to take out every avenger it was it was so weird well and yeah, weird and cool seeing that twist. Like, I never like what I really liked about this episode was 
I really didn't know what was going to happen. Like, I didn't know what was like killing yeah. them. And, and it was a certain I, murder I, mystery. I would've... Right. And I really liked yeah. that. I, I, this, this episode, apart from the, the first two, which I, I already really loved, but this mm-hmm. one was just like, I never knew what was going to happen before the end. So it was a big reveal. It was a big episode in general. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. You want to get to predictions? Let's do it. Why don't you kick us off? Okay, so my prediction, based on what was hinted at the end of this episode, uh, it looks like Nick Fury still kind of had like a backup Avengers team ready to assemble, if if uh, we're going to use the right wordage here. Um, so, but what if in his attempts to bring Cap out of the frozen state that it looks like he was in at the end of the episode, uh, he accidentally creates the scenario where we see the zombies in the future, which we already see is going to be uh, hinted at in the future episode. I think that would be a pretty interesting way to kind of kick off from this episode to the next. I like that. I like that a lot because you know me, I'm most looking forward to the zombies episode. So any mm-hmm. little hints that we can get to get there, I'm super happy. Now, yeah, and and to be honest, like all the heroes that we saw killed in this episode were ones that we saw as zombies minus Cap. So I, maybe Cap is the one that kind of kicks off those events. It's look, it's very possible. We have no idea what's coming up. But I do want to say this to kick off my prediction. I am still writing the original prediction I had where Doctor Strange is our live action MCU Doctor Strange <laughs> thrown into this multiverse of madness with the Watcher and, and just kind of shown it to like as if he's the audience. He's us. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live and die on that theory until I'm proven training. wrong. And look. Next week, we're supposed to be getting the Doctor Strange episode. So, like, yeah. look, I'll be back here next week, and we'll be able to see if that prediction was right or wrong. With the new prediction. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, but, look, I'll own up to it. If, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm definitely going to say I told you so. And we need, a, we need, like, a real good graphic that says Dan told you so. Um, but, no. But moving a little bit, like, just giving a side prediction, I guess, is um, I would like to see if there is a a a follow up from the end of this episode where we get an Avengers team made comprised of all Avengers, with the first uh, uh thing being Captain. So Captain America, Captain Marvel, Captain Britain. Like <laughs> I want a whole Avengers team built out of Captain uh versions of Avengers. So. <laughs> That's what <laughs> be awesome. I, I would like to see a follow up episode where that's the, the sixth team. It's all different captains, and then they you don't know who's going to be the leader because it's like they're they're all that they all have the same rank. They're all captain. Who's going to be mm-hmm. the leader anyway? But that's what we think. Let us know in the comments. What was your favorite part of this episode? What are your predictions for the rest of the series and the next episode? Are you riding with me? Do you think Doctor Strange is our MCU Doctor Strange or not? Let us know. And as always, don't forget, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to hear about all of our video updates. Bye, everybody!